What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And uh, we are looking at the ISRR, the Indian Space Research Organization's website. Um, they've put out three so far, the photos um, from the Mars orbiter. Um, a lot of these people, they say, I just saw somewhere they said five have come out, but I haven't seen all five yet. So I'm just going to go off what they've got on their site. Now, there's also another version of this floating around that's even bigger. Once again, I'm just going to go from what they got on their site. I don't know what's been added, what's not been added. But uh, these pictures are pretty cool that have come back. With here with the atmosphere, it does look like that color of Mars that we've seen in the past. I don't see any blue on here. Whereas it's, what's weird is if you take something from the Hubble, you'll see it as, you know, it's got the blue little bubble on it. So either way, that's pretty cool. It looks like it's got the, uh, you can see the atmosphere. So it does have a thin atmosphere, even though it does have one. Um, this is similar to... A lot of images you see from the space station um, when it's floating around Earth, you see something that looks like that. But here's the interesting one that I saw. It's got a uh, resolution, the special uh, spatial revolution of a resolution of 376 meters. Now, I looked that up and tried to figure out what exactly that was, and I can't tell what. <laughs> and I've looked, like I said, I've, I've done the math and I tried to figure it out, and I can't figure exactly what the resolution of this thing is. I know it's not. 376 meters across I'm thinking what it means is there's 376 meters in between each pixel on here and uh, that's what I've gotten for it somebody else wants to go ahead and, and tell me I'm wrong and fix it up believe me tell me and I'll post it into the description so, so this is what I'm thinking this is a fairly big area right here it was taken from kind of far up and it shows what has some interesting uh, even with it being so you know such a bigger piece you can still see some very interesting features in it, and uh, let's take a look at it. You can see what looks like, you know, something that looks like water maybe flowing down to a channel here. Now, I don't think this whole thing is water over here. I think it's just the color of it, maybe uh, deposited. At one time, maybe it was, um, but you can see here uh, what looks like even possibly running water now um, that comes in and out. It's very interesting shapes as we go through it, and... Uh, Hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. That's my phone. How many people just jumped? And uh, <laughs> no, that's my iPhone. So over here is where it gets kind of really interesting. You got these these shapes of buildings or something that look like pretty huge buildings, and uh, you can see them fairly well. But when you start pumping up the, let me do some of the gamma to this thing and show you really pull it out. Um, I'm looking at it right here. See the S shape or the five. Looks like there's a possible three-shaped thing here, possibly you know, rounded up. I don't think this is in the picture resolution itself. I mean, it very well could be. Here, let me cancel that. What I just did, and uh, try this again. Image adjustments, exposure. I'm gonna keep this one quick because really, I just want to show you the pictures that have come back because this this whole mission is awesome. I'm so excited about it because really, we're gonna be able to test, see what you know, what it really is. Is there been any? Well, hopefully, if ISRO is going to put out the legitimate data sets from their pictures. And this is kind of a disappointing picture with the resolution and the size. And I'm thinking this is their first picture where they got there. They don't have everything all dialed in yet. We're going to most – and also the orbit of this thing is amazing. So it's going to get some really far out pictures. It's going to get some really close in pictures. And uh, it, it's still an amazing achievement. And there's a lot of good stuff here to look at. So looks like my uh, – trackpad's not working too well but look at the uh just look at this crater here too down here along the side very interesting with everything in the middle of it let me see if i can't mess with the brightness now and just kind of pull it up maybe with the contrast a little bit mm, nah. pull that back down You can kind of see it there, the contrast. It's just, it's just a very interesting crater the whole thing's cool now there's also some of my buddies have already They've got some claims on it. Check it out. Scott C. Waring, he's got some uh, some claims from it already saying it looks like there's some buildings and things. And I think maybe even uh, Alien Art, my buddy, I think it was Joe White. I, can't, I always forget which one he is. But these things here, look around what seem to be domes possibly. Who knows? I said Mars is filled with stuff that we don't really know much about. I mean, we really rarely know much about our planet. Um, more or less what, what's really out there on these other planets. We're just learning more and more about our own selves. And, and really, each step we get closer, each nation that joins us in the uh, quest for Mars research is going to be a huge help for uh, mankind, really. Think about it. Before 
India got there, you know, and this is first shot. This is some amazing stuff. They got their first shot, first attempt. Nobody else has done that. I mean, no other space agency has done that on the first attempt. So kudos to them. Um, before they got there, it's a very small club, <laughs> you know, the Europeans, um, the Russians, and the United States. So the information that we're getting back, we've got to really rely on government sources. And if you've, I've noticed you don't rely on the government for anything in my, <laughs> I mean, you can, they can help here and there, but to rely on it is to put yourself at, uh, at the mercy of others. Let's just say that. And I never want to be at the mercy of others. We already are is so much in our lives because we have to make pay. We have to do everything. You know, we, we've got these, these molds of what life should be we got to pay the bills we get we get into like this weekend i had so much to get done i didn't get a chance to make a video to, to do do so much so i really need <laughs> india it, it's really neat that we've got another another source to go to for images basically that's really what i'm getting at and uh the first thing i saw on here when i, I looked at this image was this just this whole thing right here this area right here with uh, what just seemed to be some flowing something or at least something flowed here at one time it looks fairly um, fairly like you see on Earth, really. This planet, the more, more I look at this planet, the more, more it looks like Earth. And then right away I noticed the uh, the S's, the curves over here that look unnatural. Um, as well as right up here, there's another, see out here, there's some more straight lines that come out in that crater. And then there's a three right here, that one, two, three that I noticed right away. So here's the, here's after I've jazzed it up a bit. But one, two, three little things, and uh, here once again you've got more of the just what seemed to be. Here's a 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle, and then it comes off to what looks and it kind of blows up to like a little box. And I said, I, uh, I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Either way, I know you guys have to be happy that we have another another player. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and uh, back it on out. It's hard to do without my little pad here working. I'm so used to using it. Let's just do fit screen. It's definitely a beautiful shot up here. Again, you even see more of the stuff up here. Just kind of look like uh, this is where I hope they really get the high resolution going from these cameras. Just more and more. So like I said, it's here that three look to it. I would love to see what's down there on the surface. Like I said, we've uh, this channel here and a whole bunch of other channels are doing the rover pictures. I mean, there's so much good stuff on the rover pictures. If this is your first time coming to my channel, hit subscribe and then go check out my other videos. Or if you don't want to subscribe yet, just click what's up in the sky 37 and come check out some of my other videos. So, all right, guys, we have another player on Mars. Um, whether you guys think this one's anomalous or not, it is still a badass picture and I hope we have lots more to come. I'm looking for the other two that we haven't gotten yet. And once again, here's the website. If you check this out, you can get it below in the description. Here's the other picture. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, here was the picture as it was leaving Earth. So I thought that was pretty cool. That was taken on November 19th, 2013 before it took off for the, well, the, before it left our atmosphere and rolled on out to, uh, well, it actually was out of our atmosphere before it took off the rest of the way. Um, if you look how this thing made it there, it's pretty amazing. Um, the Indians really do need to <laughs> bravo. So much love, guys. What's up in the sky at 37? Have yourself a good one. Peace.